Hi guys, welcome back to Star Wars Substance and welcome to a slightly different video setup. Hopefully this works for you. I thought I'd get some props going in the background, you know, create a bit of a vibe, got some flowers, got some books. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd film in my kitchen slash uh, living area just because the light from the window in here is really good. And um, yeah, it's just kind of like nice and relaxed. Um, there's water in here, don't worry, I'm not drinking in the daytime yet <laughs> um but i thought i would throw it back with a really old school um youtube favorite which is a what's in my bag and you guys will have seen in one of my earlier vlogs i went to bista village and um, basically treated myself for my birthday to a new handbag for work i was just thinking up video ideas the other day and i was like i haven't done a what's in my bag yet and i was like these are like totally my favorite types of videos to watch so I was like I have to do one and this is probably one of my favorite bags that I've ever had and one I've sort of always wanted for a very long time sort of when I started working so I'm very happy to introduce um, my new baby it's um, my classic um, mulberry gosh I don't know the style name of this bag let me look it up so it is the mulberry bays water i don't there's different types of bays waters and this i got from vista village so it's very likely to be a last season style um but nevertheless i think it's gorgeous it is in this gorgeous um sort of oxblood wine color and it has this sort of croc croc print um leather or croc effect leather on it gold hardware and yeah just the sort of tote style apparently i was told in store that these bags or this line was designed by the creative director at celine and you can kind of tell with the like little flaps that come out on the sides there so um yeah i'm just going to get into the bag and show you what i carry with me to work on an everyday basis right so first things first uh the clasp so it opens with a little turn lock key thingy and the inside has this gorgeous sort of suede lining and i'll just give you a sneak peek of what it looks like boom very very packed um but i am i'm one of those people that carries like the world and its dog in their bags so let's get into it i hope we can find a comb in here uh so first things first you're not a real British person if you don't have an umbrella in your bag just to protect you from any eventuality and that eventuality tends to be rain at an unannounced point in time so got my umbrella in there um, and then the other thing you have to always have <coughs> is your sunglasses you might question why you would need your sunglasses and, and, and an umbrella in the same bag live in London for about two weeks yeah, but you'll see why so these are just black um, Ray-Bans I want to get some new sunglasses but these kind of do the job for now they're kind of you know cover your whole face type glasses but I don't think they work so well when my hair is down so I want to get something like smaller um, maybe the smaller aviators with the gold rim for um, wearing my hair down but I love those um, next thing up is my sort of big purse so this is uh, just a dupe of the Hermes Dogon wallet um, just opens like that and uh, it has so there's a lot of like detachable stuff but I like because it's big so you could kind of hold this as like a little clutch by itself and this sort of card wallet comes out and it's also like a coin purse as well so this is where I keep um, my very minimal stash of coins and now of course cannot open it but there's probably about 50p in there I don't know um, nothing huge oh and a memory card okay I've got three of those now uh, so that's that um, I don't always take that in my bag but sometimes it's in there um, got my work phone which is just an iPhone gosh what is this the iPhone 6 or something like that so yep that stays in there um, I'm not one of those people that tends to like be on their like phone like outside of working hours but it's it's good to have that in there 
Um, got some tissues, just, just in case you need to blow your nose, because when the weather is changing like that, sunny one minute, raining one the next minute, you get ill. <laughs> um, then I really randomly have some toothpaste from Primark, just in case I want to brush my teeth. Um, normally, like after lunch or if I'm like going out after work, I'll have that. And then I also have this portable toothbrush, which just flips out like that, so it keeps it nice and clean and hygienic. So, got the power duo there. Um, if you've ever seen Style of Substance, what's in my bag, you will definitely have seen this paddle brush. Just from Wilco, um, but very good for wigs and thick, thick hair. Just kind of gets through it very quickly. Like already you see that that's just giving me instant volume. So get down to Wilco. You don't have to spend so much money on these. Uh, that was like a pound or two pounds. Um, and then uh, if you have a wig or a weave, you need one of these. This is like the long tail comb with that pointy pointy end so you can really get in your scalp so you don't have to like do the head patting. Um, then I've got this card holder, um, it's just black. I keep my Oyster card in here, my driver's license and two bank cards and my Nando's card is in here somewhere and a bunch of business cards. So this is probably what I will most likely have in my bag on an everyday basis. Um, what else have we got in here? So we've got car keys, which I obviously keep in here. Tesco's club cards, yeah, all that good stuff. Um, I have a sharpener. That should not be there. That should be in here, which is my, oh, that is rank. Okay, so there's some blue tack with like loads of hair on it. That's got to go. Um, this is my lip pouch. So in here, I just keep a bunch of lip products and some spare perfume so I'll put that sharpen in there. There's also a nail file in there. Um, I also have my flat keys, so these are the keys to my apartment. I've got this fob which kind of lets you into all the major areas in the building. Um, so that's that. And then I have not one but two work IDs not going to show you the pictures because i don't photograph well for these things so there is no need to even expose you to that level of crustiness <laughs> um then i have some hand cream this is the elizabeth arden eight hour cream this stuff is like this is legit this is it right here um it is thick you would never think that elizabeth arden would produce something that, that that's like this it's almost something that like palmers would produce but it's really thick and actually I think it works better as a lip balm because on my hands it just makes them like super greasy but if I'm washing my hands all day and I've put that on once I find that my hands don't really get too dry so that's always good. Um, essentials, headphones. I want to get some better headphones than these because they're quite bulky and you've got to like clip them on it's just long so those need replacing. Some chewing gum never know when you might need a dose of fresh breath some more hand cream this is a bit lighter this is like an aromatherapy one that i blatantly stole from the venetian where i stayed in vegas <laughs> um love a bit of hand cream from hotels um then i have one of my favorite scents which is zara femme uh this is just like a handbag size one which i picked up when I went shopping with my friend Suki in Windsor, shout out Suki if you're watching this, um, or Nav if you're watching, <laughs> Nav is her husband. Um, then I have this, uh, what do you call it, what are these called, eyelash curlers, uh, which I really only use if I'm putting on false lashes, which I have today, um, because it just melts together my natural lashes with the false lashes so there's not like that gap in between, um, I used to get that quite a lot. Um, then there are some more eyelashes in here because pff, apparently I don't have enough of those hanging around loosely. So there you go. In fact, let me put that in this pouch because you never know when you're in need of a spare. Then I've got another like a spare car key almost, like it's just a spare fob for my car. I got two of these when I bought it so um, at some point 
someone special in my life will have the other one <laughs> probably likely to be a cat at this stage um then some more chewing gum and a usb stick one gigabyte 32 gigabytes pretty big actually should actually use these um what else have i got ah i've got this some required reading so this is um basically uh, a new to seo guide that i got from moz.com so if you guys are new to digital marketing or you want to find out a little bit more about the different practices and and what it's all about in a really easy to digest and layman's terms language go to moz.com their blog is really good they have loads of guides that kind of explain seo to beginners sorry seo for people who don't really know is um search engine optimization so yeah i uh, it's part of my new role so obviously i read that it's kind of like my bible at the moment um also normally and there's my phone for which i now have one of these little things um just makes it easier to hold and like because it's quite big uh it just gives you I feel like you feel more secure so if I had, like have my phone in my hand and I'm doing that I don't fear that it's gonna like drop out and fall on the floor even though I have a case on it so phone is obviously always in my bag um I've got some form that I need to like return to work so I should probably do that I've got my passport in here because I've been doing a lot of like dress changing stuff since I moved so I need to have that as a form of ID um, I've got some spare buds for my headphones that just should all live in there and last but not least oh no not last but not least uh, I've got this which is the book I'm reading at, at the moment which is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero and I'm loving this I got through it very quickly in fact I plan on finishing it today so I can start a next book my next book next week um i'm due to do like a, a review on some of the books i've been reading lately so that um what's the other one behind closed doors was a really good one and i think when i finish the success principles by jack canfield i will do a review for you guys and i've also been listening to some books on audio so um how the secret changed my life i've just finished really good um and i reread i re-listened to the secret as well so business card holder i have my work business cards in there boop, boop, boop. in the dream digital marketing specialist is what i go by as uh, so there's that and then i have this really nice pen from the venetian vegas i miss vegas i really do um <laughs> anyway i'm not gonna harp on about that because um i've decided i'm gonna go back and see j-lo um so coming back for you um, and that's what the empty bag looks like so it's it's pretty big um it's got these two pockets here where i keep all the sign else in here what's this little surprise oh there's a zip thing okay so i don't know what this is but i suspect it had a little spoolie on it I don't know, I need to throw that away. But, um, wow, so I've just noticed that there's a zip on the inside. How sad. Um, so in here, wow, how have I only just seen this? Yeah, so it's got a zip pocket in there. So I guess I'll keep anything important in there. But yeah, this is the bag. Um, it's pretty, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty heavy because I think it's really good quality leather doesn't have feet so i never put it down on the floor on the train um my way to work it always like rests on my feet if i have to put it down um but it's just a gorgeous bag mulberry have great craftsmanship like they know how to keep quality um i've never had a mulberry bag before so i, I don't know how the quality has sort of progressed over time but all I do know is that I will have this bag for a very, very long time. That's what's in my bag. I will link this model in the description box below if I can find it or a similar one in case you guys want to purchase it. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. This is my second of two videos today. So um, make sure you go watch my ASOS swimwear haul if you want to find out what bits I picked up to show you guys 
as far as holiday, some holiday inspiration. And make sure you're subscribed because I will be putting up about three videos a week, two on a Sunday, one on a Wednesday. I'm gonna try and stick to that as my routine. And as you know, trying to hit 100K, so, no, not trying to hit 100K, we're going to hit 100K, so you probably wanna be joining the family anytime about now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for all your lovely comments, always. It amazes me how positive and how friendly and how lovely some of you are. And also the fact that I get to meet some of you in person um when i'm out and about is really nice so yeah let's just let's just keep it positive let's keep it happy have an amazing week um i feel like it's going to be a great week this week i went to church today and i've been going quite frequently now i go to hillsong bermondsey if any of you guys live in london and um go to hillsong so yeah it's just a really nice community it's amazing to be in an environment of like so many like young people who just you know love god so i'm gonna go and i will see you guys in wednesday's video which is going to be uh, all about property investment so stay tuned for that bye